Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us today. Wesley Smith, TreeServiceDigital.com. We're having another webinar today on a very, very important topic of your digital marketing. This is more towards your SEO and organic rankings. So think of your digital marketing broken up into several components. You know, you get your paid ads, email marketing, you know, SEO, Google Maps, website, all these different things that you're doing, direct mail, social media, et cetera. And one very powerful piece is always going to be your search engine optimization, your website, where it ranks, where it shows up for those local searches for tree service near me, tree removal near me, tree removal your city, land clearing your city, state, all these different various search terms that people type into the Google search bar when they're looking to find local service contractors is super, super important for you to be up there on top and to gather all of those leads as they come in. So people are going to call a few of those companies at the top of the page. You want to be right there. So I'll go ahead and share my slides with you. Thanks so much for being with us today. I know you have other things you could be doing. So I appreciate you guys being here. Welcome aboard. I see more people coming on. I'm going to share my slide with you really quick and my screen. Let me know if you can see them. Every now and then it's showing the screen behind the slide. So I just want to make sure you guys can see that. So if you see the chat box right there, just pop in. Oh, we also have a questions and answer box. I'll uh, answer questions routinely as we go through the slides in the training today. But if you see uh, right there in the chat box, if you can pop in, yes, I can see your slides. That'd be great, just so I know that I'm talking about the slides that I'm presenting and you guys can see those. I'll do the first chat here so you can see. I'm assuming you guys can see these slides here. And so we'll go ahead and get started. So this is gonna be the brand new tree service SEO formula for 2024. And we have a really powerful strategy that we've implemented over the last six to eight months uh, for our tree service clients that we're doing digital marketing for. And you may have heard of SEO before in the past. Maybe you're already a veteran on SEO or search engine optimization and things like that. So this may be um, kind of a repeat of what you already know, but there's going to be a lot of brand new concepts as well within this training today. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Uh, we got new fresh ideas. And this is going to be the brand new tree service SEO formula for 2024 and beyond after Google's recent content, helpful content update. Uh, they had a big time algorithm update and a lot of sites got de-indexed and just totally sandboxed and knocked offline. And so you don't want to be one of those companies with your tree service website. A lot of our clients moved up to the top even further simply by default, because a lot of people's websites got hammered by Google because there was too much spammy content, too many keyword stuffing articles, pages, people blasting out 50 to 100 new pages on their website within 30 days. There's a lot of different checks and balances with SEO these days. So I just want to do this webinar so you guys kind of know what to look out for. Uh, if you guys have seen any of our other trainings, you've probably seen the digital dominance method that I go through often. And it's really how to get the best results online with your digital marketing. And this is kind of like every spoke on the wheel that you can tap into to make sure you get the absolute best results and really maximize your lead flow from the internet. It's not just one thing that you do online with your marketing. Rather, it's multiple things at the same time and what's going to get you the best results because people are all different places online and people buy a lot of different ways online. So you want to be showing up in a lot of different ways and that's what we're going to show you today. So this is basically the digital dominance method. It goes through your website and SEO as a strategy, your Google Maps, your reputation, your paid ads, which are very important, retargeting all those previous website visitors, paid online directories you can tap into for additional lead flow, uh, repeat and referral business, email marketing to your customer base, text marketing with your customer base, very powerful, pay per lead services. There's additional services out there you can pay per lead. There's social media advertising where you can actually run ads on Facebook or Instagram, et cetera. And then you can also have a referral program that kind of aligns with the email marketing and text marketing, number five, repeat and referral business, because you can offer incentives to refer new customers to your tree service business. And then number nine, last but not least, is direct mail. Very powerful strategy as well for really, you know, kind of uh, zoning in on a particular zip code or set of zip codes that you want to focus on. Um, in your local market. So I see more people jumping on. Thanks for joining today, guys. Just getting right into it. Who am I and why should you listen to me? Well, my name is Wesley Smith and I've been in digital marketing for about 11 years-ish, 10 to 12. 11 years, I think, is probably roughly the number of years I've been in digital marketing. 
and I've had my own agency for about eight years. And so we specialize now in tree service contractor marketing, tree healthcare, arborist, plant healthcare type marketing for tree service companies. Uh, we have expert team of web developers, SEO strategists, Google ads managers, Google local service ads managers, email marketing, the whole nine, got a whole team. Uh, we've worked with hundreds now, tree service contractors across the United States, and we just know what works to generate a flood of new business for tree service companies on the internet with their online marketing. And uh, we're also members of TCIA and ISA, some of the organizations uh, that you're probably a part of now. And also Arbor Expo, we just attended in New Jersey. And I'm also the author of the book, How to Win with Internet Marketing for Tree Service Contractors. So if you want a copy of that book, happy to mail you a copy. Just maybe reply to one of the email invites you got with your name, business name, and address. And we're happy to mail you out a physical copy. You can also buy it on Amazon for $2, I believe, Amazon Kindle. Um, so over the next 30 minutes, I'm going to go through exactly what's working right now with online marketing and organic search rankings for SEO, getting a lot more lead flow from the internet. What's working right now? So if you want to get the most out of this you know, next 30 to 45 minutes, actually, it's probably about 30 minutes. Slides aren't incredibly long and I want to make it too long. Um, but just, you know, hone in, focus in, take notes. I know you're going to get a lot of value out of this because it's really helping our clients a tremendous amount. So here's what we're going to cover today. The latest updates with the Google algorithm. It's called the Helpful Content Update. They made a big swooping change towards the end of 2023 with an algorithm update called the Helpful Content Update. And they just recently, in March, three to four weeks ago, uh, refined the entire algorithm update. So I'm going to go through that with you here in just a few minutes. Uh, the things that you may have put into place in the past that could be hurting you now with your organic rankings and your website and your SEO. And we're also going to go through how to optimize your website using the new SEO formula. So I'm super excited to bring this to you today. Why SEO and the internet? Well, I mean, about 50% of web traffic still goes to the Google Maps and the organically ranked websites below the maps. Sometimes nowadays what you'll see is people's websites, like a snippet of their website page, will show up above the Google Maps. So organic rankings is actually very important these days. And it's, it's statistics are proven people are going there uh, a lot of times instead of the paid ads, but they go to both. So you want to be in both spots. Statistics tell us that you know more than 82% of consumers go online when they look for tree services and local home service providers. So there's over 10 million searches every month for tree service and tree removal services globally on the internet. And you only need a small sliver of 10 million in your local market that people are searching for to get a good bit of lead flow and maximum visibility for your local market. So do you want your share? That's what we're gonna go through today. So our goal with this whole training is you know, help you Increase your sales, enhance your online reputation, drive more calls, leads, and profits for your business, and gain higher visibility online for tree service searches. I mean, that's what everybody wants. So you may ask yourself the question with all the different paid ad strategies, direct mail, everything else, does SEO still matter? Well, SEO is basically this. When somebody does a search, this is a particular search for tree trimming, Atlanta, Georgia. This is the organically ranked results in the maps. So the paid ads are above the Google Maps in most cases. Depends on the local area, depends on the competition. But the maps is going to show somewhere around the middle of the page, a little bit higher than the middle of the page. Maybe the top third of the page, maybe two thirds, something like that. Over, like If you look at the page, like maybe halfway, it might be just above the halfway point of a page. And you're going to see the Google Maps. And basically, it's going to show usually the most optimized businesses. And optimized means like, you know, how many reviews they have, how thoroughly filled out the Google business profile is, um, how high they're rated, and just, you know, a lot of different activity on this Google business profile here, which is actually what the Google Maps is pulling from, is your Google business profile. It used to be called the Google My Business. Now it's the Google business profile. And then right below the maps, you're going to see these organically ranked websites. These are websites that Google has deemed are the best search results for this particular search term, tree trimming Atlanta, Georgia. So they're going to say, well, these websites are the best handful that we're going to put on page one to show our search customers uh, the results for tree trimming Atlanta. And we're going to put these right here below the maps. And you're going to see those right there. So in your market, it'll be different. It'll be different set of results, different set of tree companies. 
but I just wanted to show you like these are the organic results that you focus on when you're talking about SEO, search engine optimization, which just basically means optimizing your website pages for search engines, SEO, search engine optimization. It's what that stands for basically. So it does still matter because what statistics tell us, you can, you can look at any number of heat maps with any of these SEO tools, there's dozens of them, and about 60% of all the clicks for local searches, for tree service, plumbers, heating and air, whatever home service you want to pull out and name, are going to go to these maps and organic rankings right below the maps. So people are going to click on these maps, A, because they feel like the maps are the closest you know, provider to their, their home address or business address from where they're searching from. So if you think about it from yourself, your perspective, if I'm going to call a tree service company, I don't want them driving an hour away to come see me. I'd rather them be right around the corner in a local company. So a lot of people search tree service near me, tree removal near me. And you want to optimize your listing for these near me searches and your website pages for these near me searches as well, right? And so then you'll get the click to your map listing and you'll get the call to come out and give that estimate, provided that you don't have a really crappy reputation on the internet, which is another reason you really want to focus on getting reviews, but we'll go through that here in a minute. And so 60% of the clicks, if they're going to the Google Maps and they're going to the organic rankings here, it's definitely highly important to be on this first page of Google for searches. And so 67% of those 60% are going to click on these like top five, right? The top three maps and the top two organic right here. So it's really important to be over halfway up the page for your organic ranking. So you want to be ranked right below the maps. And then you also want to be in the maps for your local area. Very powerful. A lot of lead flow goes there. So yes, it's a resounding yes. SEO still matters. You don't want to rely on just paid ads and local service ads alone. You'll be missing 40% of the leads in your local market, point blank. Uh, instead, you want a steady stream of organic leads and paid ads leads so that you get the most maximum benefit from internet searches. So hopefully that makes sense for you. Here's the biggest changes that have came out recently with Google's latest algorithm update. And I'm sure some of the other search algorithms probably had similar updates, being Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, et cetera. They probably had similar things that they're going to implement or else they're going to be right behind Google with this. But you can't risk and get away with unhelpful content. So if SEO companies or agencies maybe that you've worked with or you've seen in the past have just created pages on your website just to rank for things, and the content doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's just a lot of wording on the page about tree trimming in a particular city, but it doesn't really help the user or doesn't explain your services. There's no frequently asked questions box. There's no map of the local area. There's no testimonials. Just, just a wall of text on the page that doesn't really explain or help the user understand what they're reading to help you know solve the problem that they just searched for. So they're looking for tree trimming in Atlanta tree removal in Los Angeles, whatever the case may be, they want a page that shows up there that's going to help them make that decision to call that tree company. So that's what you want on the page, helpful content. So there's been you know, dozens and dozens of websites that we've seen our competitors of our clients uh, just get de-indexed or come up, fall offline after this most recent update because there was just unhelpful content or just crappy, crummy content that wasn't well thought out and written properly on the website. So no spammy keyword stuffing content or artificial intelligence mass content, right? AI produced mass content. It just doesn't even sound natural in most cases. You can have idea creation with artificial intelligence, but you don't really want to have dozens and dozens of pages and articles on your website that are mass produced by AI. It leaves a gigantic footprint and Google and all the other search algorithms are onto it now. And, and you just don't want to do that. It's not best practice. It still needs to be human written. It doesn't need to be like this massive amount of content, but it just needs to be helpful. And it needs to sound natural. And it needs to sound like it was written for the person that's searching for your services. So you need either a real physical office. This is going more towards the maps. If you need, you need a real uh, physical office to rank well on Google Maps, or make sure you select service area business, you know, where you're not going to show the address if you're going to be doing it and, and verifying your Google map listing at your residential location. So a lot of people, you know, they run their business out of their home. They've got two or three crews. They don't really have a yard they meet at. Everybody kind of has a truck or 
you know, works out of the home too. And so the business owner may have a home address as the physical address. So if that's the case, just make sure you select service area business and just know that Google may require some sort of video verification of the address and then maybe your trucks, you know, and the, the branding and everything else all kind of syncs up with your business name. Uh, and number four, you want to provide helpful, thoughtful content like job site descriptions with images on your website. That's going to be the most powerful, relevant, helpful content you can put on your website. We're going to go through that today because that's our SEO strategy that's really working very, very well. So I'm super pumped to kind of show you that. Uh, and you also want to make sure your website's mobile responsive. I mean, heck, about 70 to 80 percent of all searches these days are going to be done from a mobile device. So a smartphone. So people are going to pull out their smartphone and they're going to search tree service near me, right? Tree removal companies, my city, right? And they're going to type in their city, whether Atlanta, Los Angeles, Dallas, whatever. And they're going to be able to see the, the list of results there. So you've got to have a mobile responsive website because about 70 to 80% of those searches are going to be done from a mobile phone. Do you guys have any questions? If you do, pop them in the chat or you can pop them in a questions and answer box right there. And I'll happy to answer those. And the next quick break we take. So here's Google's helpful content uh, update straight from the horse's mouth. This is exactly what they just wrote. So new ways that we're tackling spammy, low quality content on search. And it's on one of their recent blog article posts. I'm going to actually show you that screen behind here. But it's their most recent blog article post from March 2024, it's just three to four weeks ago. So what they're trying to do is reduce low quality, unoriginal results. And I'll actually show you the article because I pulled it up here so you could see it. So you could you could always, if you want to keep up to date with Google updates, and again, people have their own opinion about Google and whatnot, but we like to make sure we stay in front of each new update before they happen because they usually announce it and then they'll post as soon as they do it because this affects search engine optimization. It affects everything on search. So this is an article they put out in March, 2024. It's blog.google.com. And so this is new ways we're tackling spammy, low-quality content on search. So they're trying to improve quality ranking, so quality websites. And they have new and improved spam policies now on the search algorithm. So basically, they're, they want, they're trying to reduce low-quality, unoriginal results, right? Just crummy, mass-produced SEO on, on pages, right? So they're trying to keep more spam out of the search results. And man, we saw this big time. As soon as they just implemented this most recent algorithm update, I guess it was about a month ago, a month and a half ago, we saw a lot of websites just literally fall off. Like they weren't even, they're not even showing anymore, not anywhere to be found. They got de-indexed, which basically means you can go to the website if you type in the, you know, blah, blah, blah.com on the search bar, but they're not showing up for searches. So, you know, the website is still live on if you type in the exact URL domain of the website, but it doesn't show up in searches. So that's being de-indexed. And so you don't want that to happen to your website. So we saw a lot of those. And then a lot of our clients moved up even further because of that by default. So keep more spam out of the results. They don't want the scaled content abuse. So if you've got 50 to hundred pages that are getting mass produced constantly on your website, that's going to be a no, no, your website's going to get flagged. It's going to get sandboxed. Uh, site reputation abuse, so they don't want you kind of like using content from other other websites without you know being unique content for your website, and then expired domains. It's just this is like an old black hat SEO strategy. You buy expired domains and then write blog articles on that website, and then link over to the websites you're trying to get backlinks for. That's a no no too. So they're basically telling you, hey, look, this is what we're looking for. We've got a complex strategy to find all this stuff. Don't go doing it, or you're going to get penalized. So just wanted to go through that. That's the most recent helpful content update that they just produced. Usually every year, every other year, there's a massive update. This was a biggie. A lot of websites got penalized. So I just wanted to go through that with you really quick. And so in a nutshell, you need to have helpful, useful, and mostly human written content on your website. So gone are the days of mass producing articles and pages on your website. Don't want to do that. It's just going to be a red flag. It's going to look suspicious. The helpful content update is obliterated a ton of websites with low quality content. And you saw a lot of these people popping up everywhere. Hey, we can produce 100 pages a month on your website with AI content. It passes the algorithm check. Nah, not anymore, it doesn't, right? It might have right at first, but Google's been focused in on these chat GPT sources and different article spinning companies and different things like that. They know when it's AI content. So I would just say, don't do that. Again, you can use it for idea creation. You know, maybe you could go search ChatGPT for 
what are some topics I could write some articles on in Atlanta, Georgia for tree trimming? And then it might spit out 10 different topical ideas. And then from there, you can write an article on each one of those topics or you know, a handful of those topics that you feel like is necessary. But I would not use it to write the article. It's just not, not a good risk to take. Um, so the helpful comment, so job site photos and descriptions of your tree service work work really, really well with this new helpful content update. And they provide, you can also provide ongoing content with this new uh, strategy. So basically just, you know, if you're taking pictures out in the field, you can use apps like companycam.com. You can use your smartphone and just upload it to a Google Drive folder, Dropbox folder, whatever. There's a lot of different options. Or you can simply take the pictures out in the field and upload them to your Facebook, Instagram page. And just you know, describe describe the project, describe you know the tree removal project, the tree trimming project, whatever you just did, and it's going to be unique every time because every new job you do is in a different city, state, could be the same city, you know, a bunch of times because you work in the same areas, but it's always going to have different job details and different job descriptions versus the one you did last, right? So this one might be we removed two pine trees, trimmed two oak trees in X Y Z city and state. We used this equipment. We had a four-man crew. It took six hours. Um, some of the challenges of the job, it was through the backyard, through a very tight fence. We had to get our spider lift through a 36-inch you know, gate into the backyard. It was a sloped backyard, so it made it even more challenging to trim the trees, et cetera, right? You, you get the idea. Just every job's going to be different. Um, so great images of your unique jobs, individual jobs, crews, and trucks work the best. So what else has changed? Well, the same things kind of still apply from before. So you still need a great on-page SEO experience. So like all of your pages need to have like the proper headers, uh, the page titles, H1 headers, H2, H3 headers, the right type of content. As we mentioned before, unique content, helpful content. Um, you want unique images on each page. What we've noticed is, is that if you have unique images, like individual images on a page, like say you got a tree removal page on your website, land clearing page on your website, have a unique image for just that page that's not in the, the media folder of your website that's been used on a bunch of different pages on your website. Just a unique photo for that page. That helps too, because that tells Google this page is 92% unique, 68% unique, whatever it is. Because if you have a lot of copy and paste stuff or using the same photos over and over again, it doesn't get as good results. Um, so the new SEO approach requires a heavy focus on user experience, optimization, like load speed, make sure your website loads fast. You don't want a slow loading website, navigation, et cetera. Um, so what are the new ranking factors? Well, click-through rate has always been one of those. So click-through rate is basically like if people are searching for tree service, your city, tree removal near me, and they see your website up there in the results and they're clicking on it 20% of the time, that's the click-through rate. So hundred impressions, you got 20 clicks, that's a 20% click-through rate. So that's still important. You still want a high click-through rate. Scroll rate is essential. So are they scrolling down once they get to your homepage? So like time on your website. Time on your website's a big deal too. That means they're getting what they want. They're reading content that's useful to them and they're staying on your website for 30 seconds, two minutes, five minutes, whatever the case may be, right? Videos that are embedded on pages really help showing your work and also good imagery from your job sites. And I tell you what, I mean, these smartphones today, I mean, they're all 20 plus megapixel cameras. So really those are going to be good enough. You don't need to hire a fancy photographer. Just whip out your smartphone, take three to five vertical photos, maybe two or three horizontal photos with the phone this way. And you can use those for like header photos on your website. You can use them for all kinds of stuff. So very powerful strategy. Unique, helpful content routinely posted on the website. Blog articles are okay. That's still a good way to update your website with specific local types of tree care related tips, but job site descriptions that you're doing on a weekly basis are even better. So for Google Maps, reviews and photos and relevant links are gonna be great for the Google Maps. So here is the new SEO formula. So what you wanna do first is you wanna post helpful content on your website consistently, not just build a website and let it sit there for the next five, 10 years. You wanna update the website with new pages of content. and. That's really tough to do. If you generate a new website, you get a new website that looks beautiful. Everybody loves your website. Oh man, you got a great website. It's really awesome. I love the website. And then you don't touch it for five more years or you're not doing any kind of SEO or you know, updating or putting new blog articles on there. Um, what you want to do is continuously update 
and publish pages on the website with helpful content. And it's not as hard to pull off as you may think. Um, I mean, it takes some thought and it takes a little bit of a process, a step-by-step -step process. But if you do it and you follow it, you're going to get tremendous results because most people don't do it. So set up a great website with unique pages targeting your services and your service areas, right? So your services, tree trimming, tree pruning, tree removal, land clearing, forestry mulching, stump grinding, if you do it, some people don't, tree health care, tree fertilization, list all your services on an individual page apiece with unique content, list all your service areas also. So if you service seven areas, seven cities in, in your local 20 mile radius, whatever that looks like, 10 mile radius, list a city page for each one of those cities because now that page will be focused on that city and the tree service, tree removal, forestry mulching keywords for that city. So that way that page on your website will show up over there. The home page of your website will generally only show in your main market because it'll be SEO optimized for your main market where your Google business profile is verified, your Google map listing, but all the other cities that are around your main area because you service a you know a radius, those aren't, your, your website's not going to show up for those searches unless you have an individual page on your website for each one of those cities. That's what the, the you know, really robust SEO type approach is really going to help a lot with that. So optimize your website for user experience, add inner page links between the pages, like, hey, for the best tree trimming, click here. And then they click there and they go to the tree trimming page. Do you want to read a blog article that we just wrote about when to trim your trees and the best time to do that? Click here. And that goes over to a blog article, right, on your same website. So those are inner page links. That keeps people on your website longer as well. Optimize your site for SEO on-site optimization, which is all the little coding and things on each page, H1 headers, H2 headers, content, images, unique images. Um, that's still very important. And build your authority, right? I mean, get listed in all these directories online and try to get links from other websites to your website. That's the biggest issue with most people trying to do SEO themselves. You can pump out your own content generally but how do you go about getting links over to your website from other websites? That's another powerful strategy to build up the authority of your website is getting backlinks uh, and then track your results. So, you know, generally the best keywords for your city and your target areas are going to be, you know, your city plus tree service, your city plus tree removal, tree trimming, tree pruning, tree cutting, arborist, land clearing, lot clearing, debris removal, you know, tree health care, plant health care, tree fertilization, those types of things, right? That's going to be the best keyword generally for your local market and then plus your city. So I just put this here kind of as an illustration of what to kind of target on each page. If you're, you know, trying to, to rank for a lot of different search terms that people are typing in, these are going to be the best suited for that. Um, so for example, if somebody does a search for tree trimming your market, kind of like we looked at earlier in the slides, you want to be kind of one of these right here in the top, right? And, you know, our client here, Meadows Tree Service, they have 250 reviews as of this particular screenshot. And so they're right there, number two in the maps, right? They fluctuate number one, number two, number three in the maps. That's generally going to be the case, but they're also ranked number one organically right below the maps. So you can see like there's two places that people have the opportunity to bounce into this client by clicking on their Google map listing, clicking on their website and their five-star rated with 250 reviews. That's super powerful. I just want to show you that's a really good way to do it. And over time, you know, the website just gets lots and lots and lots of traffic. So this is like a one month snapshot of, you know, what happened with this client's SEO. So their, their Google rankings have went up 31 spots in 30 days. This particular window um, of one month, was 76 Google business calls on the Google map listing because they're ranked number one in their market. It may have been some sort of storm or something like that, but there's a lot of calls on the Google map listing. But again, if you're perched up at the top, when a storm does roll through, you're going to get hammered with phone calls and you can pick and choose which jobs you go on, that type of thing. So it's always good to work on your SEO. So I just want to kind of show you kind of the power of being up at the top of the page like that. So this is their you know rankings for their area, plus a, a lot of uh, additional areas. Google rank number one for tree pruning, city number two, tree removal, city number three, tree removal, city, city number four. They're ranked number one for all of these searches. You see, because they have different location pages on the website that target Pecan Grove, Briar Forest, Foster, 
Katy, uh, you know, Briar Forest, Cinco Ranch. But there's a bunch of different little suburban areas around their main area. And so if you have a page targeting those other local areas, then your website will rank and show up in those other markets too, yielding a lot better results for your SEO traffic. So just to kind of show you that, like these are the rankings. I mean, their SEO is killing it. They're pretty much the top of the page for everywhere we're targeting. So off-page SEO, th that was kind of the on-page SEO, which you need to do on the website. But off-page is claim and optimize your Google business profile, right? Make sure you got a Google map listing. If you're not on the Google maps, you're losing the lion's share of calls in your local market. So just make sure you're on the Google Maps and take a lot of pride in like getting a good reputation built on the Google Maps, because what we see is the people with the highest ratings and the most reviews do the best on the Google Maps. I mean, for the most part, when all else is equal, you know, you still want a lot of activity with uploading photos on your Google Map, getting reviews, posting on there as often as possible, because you can post on your Google Map listing every day if you want. We post four times a month. That way you have a live post each week on your Google map listing, Google business profile, but just all the activity combined. But what we see trumps everything else typically is the amount of reviews, the rating. Not only does this, does this help your SEO and your, and your reviews and your Google map listing, it's going to help you convert more people that find you as well. Because when you have more reviews than all your competition, you're just boat racing the competition. Everybody feels more comfortable with your business. Okay, well, they got 200 five-star reviews. They got to be a good company. You can't fake that, right? Everybody else is happy with them. I'm sure I will be too. So then you're going to get the benefit of the doubt and you're going to get that call. So the reviews help a lot with everything, not just showing up high, but also converting people that find you. And then in addition to that, the reviews help you on the Google guaranteed ads, which are called the Google local service ads. So the highest rated and most frequently rated businesses on the local service ads that show up at the very, very top are those ones with the most reviews and the highest rating. So getting reviews helps everything. We have a little tool now that we give every one of our clients, we give them a set of postcards. You get those. And then on every job, it's got a QR code on it. You just ask the client like, hey, did we give you five-star service today? And like, yeah, you, we did. You guys did. Would you be so kind just to give us a quick five-star review? All you got to do is pull your phone out real quick pull up your camera and then just scan this code and it'll pull up our Google business profile um, review. And then all you gotta do is type in a quick review. That would really help us out if you don't mind. And so that right there, if you just do it every day on like every job, you can get 10, 20 reviews a month easy, right? And those really add up over the years. So just make sure you're either using a tool, you know, there's there's lots of online third-party tools like Nearby Now, BirdEye, Review Buzz, Customer Lobby, Podium. There's a lot of different options. Do something. Whatever you do, just do it. Do it frequently. It's going to help everything. Build authoritative links back to your website from other websites. That's also uh, very, very powerful. And then strategic content syndication. So you want to syndicate that content. So again, we'll go back to this post again. A simple blog post on your site simply won't cut it anymore, right? Blog articles are good, but they're not really the best anymore. They help with updating your website. Don't get me wrong. You got to do them because you want to update your content if you're not doing anything else. But the best thing to do is unique content about your actual jobs, descriptions, and photos for the best results. And let's look at a couple of those. So this is called job site SEO, job description SEO. is very, very powerful because it's super relevant for the helpful content update, the most recent Google update. You're basically storytelling, right? You're telling the story of your tree service business on every job. New content publishing formula describing your unique job. So you're going to add case studies of your work with your job site images, description, and written article of your tree services on your website, right? If you post these frequently, let's say one or two of these new ones a month, or I mean, you can do five a month if you want, but there's got to be some sort of cadence to produce the content there. So this satisfies the search engine's algorithm for hunger for EAT. So EAT stands for expertise, authority, and trust. And Google's looking for expertise. So that's quality content, job site descriptions, images, right? Authority published on ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC. So those are good. If you get press releases published about a case study you just did of a job description, that's powerful. And think about it too. If you do commercial projects, what better thing to publish on your website that you just did uh, a tree trimming job for XYZ church in your local community. Cause that church is probably very well known. It's a, it's a name in the community. Everybody knows about, and you just did a tree service job and you posted it on your website. So people are going to find your website for tree service when they look up this church sometimes, cause it's going to be an article there 
about a job you did or a car dealership that everybody knows about or a subway that everybody goes to or an ice cream shop everybody goes to and you're actually doing their tree trimming or something or tree pruning. When you post those types of articles on your website, they just, they get found a lot and people find them a lot. And you can also promote those with press releases, which is really powerful strategy for SEO. And you want to trust, you know, past trust and page rank with link signals and implied trust. So here's a couple of example sites for this job site SEO. Here's how you get the best results for it. These are kind of the details that you want to have for each one of the job site descriptions and job site postings that you want to do. So you want before and after pictures, right? If you just got pictures of you guys doing work, you don't have the same before and after angle shot. That's okay. But try to make it a goal to do that because a picture tells a thousand words, right? Picture's worth a thousand words. You have a before picture of a tree, an ugly tree, an after picture of a perfectly pruned and groomed up tree. That's powerful. People like to see that. City and state of the job, type of tree, type of service, duration of the job, what equipment did you use? What, you know, what kind of challenges did you have? Was it in the backyard, on a slope, through a fence, busy road? Was it residential or commercial? And you can see like each one of these are going to be different per job. So each one of these articles are going to be completely unique, independent of any other page on your website. So it's very powerful for signals to Google that this website is producing very good content. So here's one example. This is a client we have in Florida. And so this is a before picture of the tree right here. It's, uh, this was a residential job. The location was Vero Beach, Florida. Type of service, live oak removal, stump grinding. Tree was approximately 30 feet tall. Equipment used was loader, two-man crew, spider lift. Uh, One-time project. It was in the winter season. This was a live oak tree. So again, that's very unique, right? It's a live oak tree. Um, additional services were stump grinding, total job cleanup, no debris left on the ground on the job site. Client wanted, um, they wanted the live oak removed due to the surfacing roots and they're beginning to lift the concrete driveway and mess up the driveway. So that was the reason they wanted it. And so if you keep reading on through the case study, it has the after photo and I put these side by side because I can't put it all on one page, but you can see the after photo is the, the place with the tree removed, the stump ground and everything cleaned up. Right. So that's a before and after picture right there. So people can get the idea like, wow, that's how this tree company works. And so you're going to get more conversions on your website, too, by posting these. Um, here's another one. This is a client that was in Virginia, a uh, Spotsylvania County resident called our tree company in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And here's the bulleted list. Right. It was a residential homeowner. It was in Fredericksburg, Virginia. It was a tree removal project, 40 feet tree in height. Knuckle boom and debris truck is what they used to remove it. It was a one-time project in the winter. Specific challenges. This was a 150-year-old tree, white oak tree, with extensive decay at the base. It was basically a dead tree. The homeowner wanted to remove this tree due to its hazardous location on their property being right next to the house. Uh, and it was a white oak. Customer requested to remove the white oak due to its location and state of decay. So this is kind of the before picture um, and all of that. So I can kind of show you a couple of these on a website. So for example, this is one of our clients' case studies here. Um, if we go to portfolio, they wanted to call theirs portfolio. This is their, their portfolio of tree work, right? So let's look at this one here. So this one is Arbor Green Tree Services Problem Red Oak that they ended up removing, right? So this is the before picture. This is the red oak tree right by the house. This is the bulleted list. It was a homeowner. Large red oak required Milford, Connecticut hazardous tree removal. Tree removal, six hours. It was five foot in diameter. It was a red oak tree. They used a knuckle boom crane and grapple saw, chipper truck, and they gave us all the details on the equipment. It was a one-time project in the fall. Um, specific challenges were this red oak powered over the house, and the crew needed to lay ground protection mats for dispersed vehicle weight evenly across the lawn. The job site was also tricky over a deck and a shed and vinyl fence, play set, and neighboring properties. And the homeowner wanted to mitigate the risk of damage to the neighbor's property. So that's them. This is part of the trunk that they took out here. So that's kind of like during the process. And then this is afterwards, no more tree, right? So you, you can see the after photo, no more tree. So that's the, that's the case study for that particular project. Uh, we can look at another one. This is a commercial project of one of our clients in Florida. And you can see they, uh, Demonstrating proactive tree trimming to protect a local primary school in Palm Bay, Florida. So this one's basically, 
hey, we're demonstrating how we proactively trim some trees to protect a local primary school in Palm Bay, Florida. Table of contents. So if you want to look at any unique section, it'll take you right there. A school in Palm Bay, Florida. This is the before picture as they were trimming the palms. And this is the bulleted list. This was Nemours Children's Primary Care. So a landmark in the area. People know about this place. Very powerful for the SEO strategy. Uh, trimming multiple oak trees and palm trees. You know, the size of the trees, the equipment they used, one-time project in the winter. Um, they wanted to get it prepared for hurricane season. It's a very high traffic area was the, the challenge because there's a lot of cars coming and going on the road right there that they're trying to work from. Um, and so this is kind of like while they're doing the trimming, you can see a lot of the debris that get left behind with the spider lift there after trimming. And then these are a lot of the palm trees afterwards. They're all nice and clean and everything was done per standards for the business owner. So that's another, you know, basically just job site description. You just post these ongoing constantly and you can see, I mean, after a while you've got two, four, six, you know, seven. I mean, you start getting 10, 20, 30 of these on your website. You're going to have the most powerful content of anybody in your local market on your website. You're going to show up for everything. So we're noticing this has a big impact on local search results, local search rankings. So I'm super excited to talk about this because it's really helping a lot. The only thing you got to really think about is how you're going to get the photos to either your marketing agency or how are you going to you know, get the photos? If you take them with your smartphone, that's fine. They'll have sometimes a tendency to get mixed up with your personal photos and stuff like that. So um, companycam.com, companycam.com is a very good tool for that. You have unlimited storage and video storage and, and, and um, photo storage with that app. And you, when, you, when you download that app to your phone, it's only $24 a month per user. And so when you download that app to your phone, you have unlimited access, but you're taking the photos with the app as opposed to taking them with your phone camera and it being stored on your phone, these are stored in the app. So then everybody on your team can log into the same photos if you add them as a user. And then you also can come into the office, log in on the computer to your same company cam account, download the pictures to your computer, upload them to your website, all that stuff. So very, very powerful strategy. This is working way better than anything else, including blog articles or any of that stuff. Although blog articles do work, Here's some more examples of people's websites just skyrocketing up after producing a lot of content on the website. You can see like everybody's moving up dozens of places. You start uploading these pieces of content and then running press releases to those case study articles, like boosting the articles and search results. Very powerful strategy. So now we'll kind of move on to the Google Maps. If anybody has any questions about that job description SEO, job site postings on the website, pop it into the chat or the questions and answer. And uh, happy to answer that in the next little small break. Hopefully this is helping. This is, is so powerful. It's been such a help with SEO because you're, you're always trying to dream up what new content can we post on the website? These are specific job details, right? It's something you do every day. Take the photos and then describe the job with basically what you wrote on the invoice. That's it. You know, you, you trim three trees, you remove two other ones. And you did stump grinding, right? That's the job description. So very powerful. So here's the secret to getting ranked on the Google Maps. So you still want to get your online directories submitted and have lots of online directory submissions. I mean, this is, you know, Dex knows yellow pages, white pages, super pages, Yahoo local. Like you want to be on all of these directories. And then you also want to focus on getting five-star reviews on your Google business profile, which is basically your Google Maps. So the secret to getting ranked on the Google Maps, this is one of the very, very, very most powerful features you can do. Get customers to give you reviews. Number one, you, you need a lot of reviews. Like even if they don't upload photos, you just need a lot of reviews, period. But if you get them to upload photos while they're giving you the review, that's even more powerful because that photo is geotagged with the exact coordinates of where they're standing. And as scary as it might be, Google knows exactly where you're standing when you take photos and upload them to some sort of online site, like their Google map platform. So if somebody's giving you a review, like this particular guy named Russell, he gave our client a review and he uploaded a photo of the after image of the work. So basically he uploaded the photo. So that now tells Google that our client works in that local market because that photo is geotagged for that local area. Very powerful. So if you can get your clients not only to give you the review, 
but say, hey, as you're writing that review, would you mind taking a quick picture with your camera and then just uploading one picture or two pictures or five pictures to that review? That really helps our SEO strategy and our Google Maps. Most people don't care. They'll go ahead and do it for you. But you just got to kind of coach them on doing it, right? Uh, this one, another one, this, this lady, Christina, she uploaded four pictures of the job um, of our client, Arbor Experts. And they basically, you know, they got four photos on the job uh, of the customer standing at the exact location she was at when she gave the review. So not only did they get a five-star review, they got four photos uploaded to their uh, Google business profile, geotagging images for that local area. Hugely powerful. So how to build up good, relevant links back to your website. So to get backlinks to your website, it's not easy. But if you're members of a lot of these organizations like, you know, TCIA, ISA, places like that, BBB, Chamber of Commerce, you know, uh, BNI, like any of these local organizations you may be a part of, get listed on their website. Say, hey, do you guys have like a, a free listing I can get on your website? That way, you know, I put my name, address, phone number, and website on your on your directory. And most people, yeah, yeah, you can you can put your listing on our directory. So when you do that, you get another backlink to your website. So the more of those you have from good relevant websites, the better. So that's kind of one way you can get backlinks. So another way you can get backlinks in a very good way is go look up all the major competitors in your local market and look up their backlinks. And then once you find all their backlinks, there's several SEO tools you can use for this. I mean, it's a tedious process, but it's kind of part of our SEO strategy or any good search engine optimization company strategies just to go look up the competitor backlinks because that's really telling you what Google is preferring at backlink wise to get the competition ranked for certain keywords, right? And so you can look up the customer, the, the local um, competitor website backlinks and you can get those same backlinks to your website. That's another thing you can do. Uh, what do all these results have in common? Well, most people that are ranked in the Google Maps and in organics is one of our clients in Texas. They're number two in the Google Maps and then number one organic below Yelp and Angie's list in the regular search results. Here's what the commonalities are. So they always have a claimed and verified Google Map listing on Google My Business, which is now Google Business Profile. They don't have any spam in the company name. So they're not like, you know, XYZ Tree Service, Dallas Tree Service, right? You don't want to put the keyword in the name of your business title on Google Business Profile. Kind of a no-no. It, it might get suspended if you do that. They got tons of five-star reviews. That really, really helps. Lots of reviews, lots of pictures on your Google Business Profile. Uh, you want the keyword on the website. So the website needs to have a good on-page SEO experience like we talked about before with all the tags, all the titles, with all the pages like accurate. That really helps too. It tells Google where you want to rank for. Uh, you want lots of citations and directories across the web, referencing your name, address, phone number, and website. Uh, you want a good, solid backlink profile across the web. And you want to consistently upload photos to your Google business profile as well as to your website. So you want to upload those same unique job site photos to your website. That really, really helps. And that's very powerful as well. And then also have customers upload photos to those five-star reviews when they give them on your Google map listing. Very powerful. So that is the new SEO formula in a nutshell. So you want to set up a great website with pages with each of your services and for each of the cities that you serve. You want to get your keywords and geo modifiers in the title of each page. So your cities and states in each page that you want to rank for. Use unique content on every page and unique images. Leverage multimedia to enhance time on page and reduce bounce rate. People click on your website, just bounce it right off. Get online reviews across the web. The Google reviews are going to be the most beneficial for your SEO and search rankings, but you can get reviews on Facebook, you know, places like that, Yelp, Angie, just to kind of build up a review profile if you've already got plenty on Google. But the goal is to boat race the competition on Google Maps so that you have more than everybody else. Uh, build your citations and consistency and uh, post updated content on an ongoing basis, like your job site descriptions on the website are super powerful for telling your story as a tree service business. Hey, here's how we do our jobs. This is a tree trimming job. We did an XYZ car dealership. You know, we had this equipment. This is what we did. This is how clean we are. We cleaned it up neater than we, than we found it, et cetera. That's very powerful proof. Um, build backlinks and authority to your website. And then also syndicate content across the web with press releases, 
and brand mentions of your service. So quick question we have here in the chat, how do you filter out unwanted calls? I've been receiving spam calls from Google Business Verified saying that my business is not verified. Yeah, that is a real pain in the neck, uh, Eloy. Thanks for the question. We see that pretty often. If they're coming in on Google ads, we can simply just change out the phone number a lot of times and that'll resolve it because a lot of times they're not clicking on your ad to call. It's just your phone number has gotten dumped into some robocall database after it was established. Now, if it's your main business number, you might just want to block each one of those spam calls as they come in. Or you could have a tracking number on your Google business profile that forwards to your number where you can have them press one to connect. And so if you have a tracking number and you can enable this call feature where they the caller has to press one to connect, a human will have to press one on the keypad before it'll connect to your line. That's one way to eliminate those as well because that can become a gigantic time suck. People just constantly calling and it's like your Google business profile and it's just a recording. We see those a lot too, man. So hopefully that helps. Some of it you can't get rid of, especially if they're calling your main number directly. So hopefully that helps. So that's how you do. So if you guys are looking for a free SEO review of your business, um, this is all we do all day, every day. Happy to help you guys with that. You know, if you just want a, an agency that knows what they're doing to implement this on your behalf and uh, get everything done, we'll take a look at everything for you. We'll comb through your website, uh, see your online visibility that you currently have today, a ranking report of where you're at and uh, kind of where the gaps are. Um, we'll look at your online reviews and reputation and ideas how to get more, double, triple your reviews. Uh, and then we'll analyze your social presence, website conversion effectiveness, effectiveness and all that stuff. So um, if you guys want to schedule a time, happy to do that. Go over your specific details of your business, your location, your website, your rankings, your Google map listing, all that stuff. And uh, we can look at our whole program if that's something that interests you. So you can go to treeservicedigital.com to our website. There'll be various forms. You can basically submit your information to get a, get a uh, free online review or just a contact us form on the contact page. And um, you'll be welcome to uh, schedule an appointment there on our calendar. But also the, the main website page would be the treeservicedigital.com forward slash schedule right there. And we'll go over everything, right? We'll go over your website, where you're at today, where you wanna go, uh, maybe what type of strategy. If you're getting job site photos, you're 80% there, right? To getting these job descriptions posted on your website constantly. So just think of it as like a second blog feed on your website. So normally with your website, you'll have a blog page. Just have another page called case studies, projects, portfolio, recent jobs, whatever you want to call it. And when you click on that page, it's just another blog feed, right? So each new job description is just like a new posting. You're publishing a new page with a new job description each time. Very, very, very powerful for SEO. So we're extremely excited about this. It's really helping our clients brand their business, get more conversions from their website, and just show up point blank more for a lot of more online searches. So hopefully this helps and provides some value for you guys. If you guys have any other questions, post them in the chat. Um, give it a few more seconds here. Hopefully you guys got something from it. Appreciate you being on today. And uh, there'll also be a replay of this uh, particular webinar if you didn't get to catch all of it or you just want to go back and see a certain item. We'll be sending that out next week as well. So until we talk again, until the next video, everybody have a great Friday, great weekend, and uh, happy spring to everybody. Talk to you soon.